Today I'm going to show you how to put together a simple magazine article in Adobe InDesign. As you can see, today's article is on Mick Fanning when he was almost attacked by a shark in South Africa. Got a couple of pictures we're going to throw in, some nice black borders up the top and the bottom, and some cool text around the start here. That's basically all it is. It's a fairly simple task to do. So let's start a new document in Adobe InDesign. And we're going to set the number of pages to three. It is only a two-page article, but I'll show you why we do three pages in just a moment. We'll start at page one. Page size, I want you to choose A4. And my measurements are set up in some weird um, format here. I think it's peakers or something it's called. Not sure how to change it, but just trust me, if you choose A4, you've got the right size, and hopefully yours is in millimeters, and you can see what actual size that is. Number of columns, you can change this if you want to and just start your page with columns, but I'm just going to leave it set to 1 for the time being. The margins, I'm going to set to about, I'll go 6 millimeters. Okay, and as long as this little chain is checked, that's going to put a 6 millimeter margin around the top, inside, outside, and bottom of my page. So you saw these pink lines would have just changed. And down the bottom in the bleed and the slug area, I just want you to give yourself a 3 millimeter bleed and again make sure that little chain is checked so that you put a three millimeter bleed around the entire document you'll see the red line appear around your page okay you just check the preview box if you wanted to see how that's looking click OK once you've done that okay and what you're going to have on your page now is a blank A4 document if you scroll down here's the two pages we want to work with Okay, we, we're going to make a two-page spread for this um, assignment and for this magazine article. So we want to have two pages side by side. All right, so let's go down to page two and three and work with them. If you press Control alt 0 you should be able to see your page at full screen. To get started today, what I'm going to do is pick up my rectangle tool from my toolbox. I'm going to go up to my colors up here, and I'm going to say black for my fill color that's the top box for the bottom box which is your stroke or your border just select none and we're going to start right on the bleed line which is the red line in that corner simply click and drag across to the other corner and we're going to come inside the pink margins a little bit just go below them and drop that black line on your page okay fairly straightforward we're going to do the same at the bottom okay so start in the bottom left corner Go all the way across to the bottom right, and this time I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Just snap it onto the pink margin lines. Okay, so we've just got some nice borders around the top and the bottom of our article. You can do something different if you like. You might want to put page numbers or the name of a uh, the magazine and the footer at the bottom there, but I'm just going to stick with borders today. Next thing we're going to do is grab our text tool and simply click and drag from one side of this pink line here, go across to the other pink line and in here we're going to put the title for our article in capital letters and we're going to write shark attack once you've written it highlight it and I want you to change the size go up to about size 68 okay you can go a little bit bigger I do want it to fill pretty much that entire first row but I know that I'm going to change my font in just a second I know size 68 fits perfectly now the font you choose should look pretty cool okay for a shark attack it's pretty exciting so I've gone ahead and downloaded a special font off the internet called Coco Goose Letterpress okay looks like it's a little bit too big still I'll drop it to size 67 there we go that'll fit you can see it's roughed up letters it looks a bit edgy um, it makes it a bit more exciting rather than just a plain simple font so I recommend getting onto Google looking up a few different websites like dafont.com and choosing a really nice font for your header I'm also going to change the color of the word attack to red. That also makes it stand out and make it look even more exciting. All right, so that's a reasonable header. Uh, one last thing I might do is just click on that and just choose the align center option up here. I'll just push it into the center of my text box and feel free to move it around a little bit, but I think where it is, it looks fine. And the next thing I want to do is bring in the text for my article. And the way I'm going to do that is go to file and place. I've already written my article up in Microsoft Word and it's saved as surfing article. So I'm just going to click on open. InDesign is going to read that document and realize that it is full of text. And what you can do as you move your mouse around, you'll notice that it's got some writing 
following your mouse. That means it's ready to be placed on the page. So I'm going to click and drag from one pink margin on the left side over to the right margin. Don't go right down to the black rectangle at the bottom. I'm going to drop it about there and you can see the text for this article will appear on the page. Now that's not the entire article and I can tell this by the little red plus sign in the right hand corner there. That means there's still some text that we've cut off in this text box. So what I need to do is click on that and it will pick up that leftover text and we can put it on the next page. So I'm going to simply click and drag from the left margin to the right margin, go down to near the bottom of the page and drop it in. And now I can see my entire surfing article. That's a thousand words right there by the way if you were wondering. So you should be able to fit about a thousand words on the two pages without an issue. And the next thing I'm going to do is go up the top here and double click inside my text box and highlight this first little paragraph. And I'm going to go up to edit and cut. I'm going to cut that out. Okay. And what I'm going to do is grab my black arrow which is the selection tool and just resize my main text box down a little bit so I've got a bit of space up here. And in that space what I'm going to do is just go to edit and paste and paste in that little paragraph I just cut. I'm going to stretch it out all the way to the end. Just resize it a bit. Okay. I'm going to highlight it now. I've got this font called Helvetica New. I'm going to change its style. Instead of having bold, I'm going to choose light. I'm going to center align it. And I've noticed that the word competition is being cut off and it's got a hyphen at the end there. So while I've got my text highlight, I'm going to turn those hyphenate options off. And you do that inside your paragraph panel. If you can't see your paragraph panel, just go to your window menu, go down to type and tables and select paragraph. And in that paragraph option down the bottom, you've got hyphenate. If you turn that checkbox off, it will stop hyphenating words. And it looks a little bit nicer now. Okay, I don't know if I should justify it. No, I'll just leave it as center aligned. Um, and once I've done that, I'll grab my black arrow and just choose the align center option up here as well. That will just vertically align my text in the center of that text box. Okay, underneath that I'm going to put a line, so just using my line tool, I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to turn the fill color off first, choose a black stroke, make it about size 3, simply click from the left margin, drag across to the right margin, hold shift while you do it to have a straight line, and that just rules off that section. Looks a little bit thick that line, I might just drop it down to 2 point. There you go, so that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to go back to my main body text now and select that and just move that text box up a bit. And I'm going to highlight this first little paragraph that's still in bold. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. It's like an introductory paragraph that needs to stand out a bit, I think. So make it a bit bigger. And to help it pop out, I'm going to change its color to red. Okay, it's looking good. Next thing I'm going to do is press Control A to highlight all of my body text. And up the top you've got this little option here with um, a couple of little rectangles and it's called the number of columns. You can just up the number one to two and you can see that you get two columns in your page. Some magazine articles go with three columns so feel free to up that number to three columns but I'm just going to go with two for this example. The other thing I want to do while I've got this selected is change the letting or the line spacing and we do that over here where we change our text size just below it. You can change the letting change it to 14 point to start with just click off it, that looks pretty good, we may change that a little bit later on if we need to fill up some space I think size 14 for our uh, letting or our line spacing looks pretty nice okay one more thing I might do with this text is highlight the first letter in here which is the A and make it a drop cap and the way we make a drop cap is simply highlight the letter and go up the top to where we've got the little A and the up and down arrows and start changing the size of it. I'm going to go all the way up to size 5 for now. That makes a pretty big drop cap. Okay, I think it looks alright over there. And one last thing I'm going to do, I just noticed that hyphenate is still turned on in this body text, so I need to just press Control A to highlight it all again and just turn hyphenate off. That stops hyphenating words. Alright, so far so good. If you want to preview this without all the margins and the guides on your page, you can go up to the View option here. Go down to Screen Mode and select Preview.
and that just takes off your bleed lines and your margins and you can start to see that this magazine article is looking pretty good all we really need to do now is put some pictures in and we're almost finished okay so what I'm going to do here is just stop the video for a moment I'm running out of time on this one I will come back in a second video and show you how to put these pictures in alright so you might as well save it now and then we'll come back and finish it off